what was life like for you, you know, growing up as a kid? Huh, well, I would say I was pretty blessed. Um, but in being pretty blessed, I'm just gonna say I was a middle child. So uh, that says a lot probably uh, right there. <laughs> but uh, it's probably it's a pretty big struggle, I would say, honestly, um, just kind of finding myself finding my place. Um, I have four brothers and sisters. So um, that's a lot. And I think yeah, that yeah. personality wise, I had to really uh, up my game. So I like to tell myself <laughs> why I am the way I am. But uh, in general, uh, I grew up in Bexley, Ohio. So pretty local to here. Lived in Columbus area most of my life. Went to Bexley High School. Um, just overall, um, just kind of like a, I would say like a complicated child. Uh, didn't really love school, but did well at it. And then... Um, yeah didn't really understand like how to apply myself, you know, a little too creative, a little too uh, ADD for my own good. Um, but those are the skills that now make me successful. So, you know. Yeah. You know, it's one of those things where as I interview more and more um, agents for the podcast and things like that, I always find that there's usually something that either happens like growing up, you know, personality or, you know, uh, environment or things like that, or, you know, later on in the, like, another career that really has a big impact, you know, for you and, and school, I'm curious, was it, it was, was it just like boring for you? Like, did you not just have a passion for it or um, yeah, I mean, you're I, good at it? It's just, I was bored. I mean, I was bored. It was hard to take my attention. Um, I was always like in the AP and like, I know it sounds gross, but I was always in those types of classes. Um, but I just didn't, see the reason behind it. I was always kind of like a, like I wanted results. I wanted to do something. I learned through doing, I'm a doer. Um, and there's yeah. not a lot of opportunity in traditional education to like do. Usually you're just kind of sitting there. And if you understand a concept, you're really just waiting for other people to understand it. Um, and if you don't understand a concept, you're not really getting various ways of understanding it. You're kind of just getting one yeah. way. Um, so I think I was just bored. I. Uh, I was kind of like a class clown, you know, I just, I just needed, I don't know, you know, I needed yeah. more. No, I, I forget what the percentage is, but I think there's a high percentage of people. I forget, you know, exactly what it is that most people are like in the doer category, right? Like they need to, mm -hmm. they need to be doing that, that activity. And then it's backed up by, you know, um, you know, visual learning or whatever the case may be. So um, now did you end up going to, to college then after high school or I did, what was I did. Kind of the next step? I rushed right into college, which was an epic mistake. Um, <laughs> so I think that that was just normal back when I graduated, I graduated in 2004 from high school. So um, yeah, I think it was still really just, I don't, I'm not sure it's still the same. I hope it isn't. I hope it's moving more towards like, take a minute, take a breather, you know, like in New Zealand, they let you just go like travel the world when you finish school. That would be really cool. Um, yeah. But yeah, I went right into college, uh, went for business and communications. So that's super boring. And uh, sorry, anyone that's in that. Um, <laughs> I have a lot, I have a lot of people in my life that have that degree. Um, but it just wasn't um, anything I was really passionate about. I mean, it was just the same thing that I had just left. And the only reason I went was because I felt like there was an ultimatum and I love my parents. Mm -hmm. But at that time that was normal, you know, to say like, yeah, you're going to go to college. If you're not going to college now, you're not going to college, you know? So yeah, um, that was my path. And it, it, uh, it didn't uh, go so Yeah. Long. I'm, 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 well, I'm there with you. Right. Like, you know, my parents, it was, I would say it was like implied, right. It was like, we didn't sit down and be like, you, you, you're going to college. It was just kind of like that next thing, right? The next step. And I'm, I went to college in 2007. So, you know, kind of around that same, you know, time frame. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it is better now, you know, in the sense of, you know, that there, I, I think what um, our parents' generation saw and what we see is, you know, schooling, in my opinion, that there's, there's some college that it does require you know, a degree and things like that. But what I think we're seeing over the last decade or so, and especially with COVID, that there's there's so many different ways to go out there and, and um, create a career or create a living um, to where you don't necessarily have to have that college degree piece of paper to say, hey, now you are, um, 
now you're certified, right? To, to go. Now you're ready to start at the bottom again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, so what made you pick, um, that degree? I, I know you mentioned that, you know, you didn't really have a passion for it, but you know, did you kind of, did you want to go into the business space when, when you were all said and done or what was kind of the the choice there? It's been a hot minute. So I think like, I can only like assume what I was thinking back then, um, it's easy, yeah. 20, you know, hindsight is 2020. But um, I think that I've always, I know I've always been entrepreneurial, you know, mm. like I'm that kid at the, you know, that famous story of the kid at the hawking like bazooka candies at the like lunch, you know, at lunch, like yeah. selling my sandwich for like something worse or whatever. So that was always me. Um, so. I think uh, I definitely had like almost like a premonition that that was the area I would want to be in. Um, But I actually ended up going to school for business and communications, then finishing that degree at Columbus State, then serving tables for 12 years, then getting an art and design degree, going to college again, and then real estate five years after that. So um, I would say that my first choice was probably because I looked at how many credit hours it would take thought about how I could pass it as quickly as possible and pretend I was going to class and um, what would be the easiest. And that's why I think when you're young, like, it's just like, you know, that's so dumb looking back now. I'm like, why would I spend money? You know, I'm sure my parents were pissed um, because for me to be in class and not wanting to be in class makes no sense now that I pay my own bills, you know? So uh, (laughs) it's pretty crazy. You know, that's youth. So uh, but yeah, definitely. I think it was just honestly like the first thing that was written down and um, the the easiest, most widely spanning option that I thought, hey, yeah. maybe I can like, maybe I'll, I'll like this. Maybe I can go into something and actually finish something. Um, but if I don't, then at least I can say I went to business school, you know? Right. And did you actually finish with that degree? Yes. I know you mentioned you. Okay. Okay. And so then after that, you were waiting tables. You, you mentioned for 12 years, was that just you kind of figuring out exactly what you wanted to do? You or? know, I wanted to make money. And the sad truth is, um, that was the best. I mean, it was in a, so it's an associate's degree. So, yeah. um, respectfully at that point, like it was kind of like, okay, enjoy, you know? So, yeah. um, in my mind, I could either, get a job making ten dollars twelve dollars an hour which is good pay back then um or i could wait tables and make three hundred dollars in a night and yeah. party and have fun and be social <laughs> um and yeah. at that time i mean i just think i i wasn't ready you know i wanted to enjoy life and and that's what was enjoyable to me at that time you know i was we we're just still kids really you know just yeah. with more freedom, which is terrifying. So, um, <laughs> you know, just more money. I always just wanted to hustle and make money, you know, and that yeah. at that time, that was like, you know, my friends with other jobs were like, you know, I make, you know, $50,000 a year or whatever. And I'm like, well, I don't know how much I make, but I have a lot of cash in my pop, pop like pocket when I want it, you know? <laughs> and I think that mentality is what made me want to keep doing, I'm almost getting stuck doing it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a lifestyle, right? Um, you know, uh, in, in the food service industry, I think, you know, I've helped a lot of people transition out of that career into real estate because it is a great career to oh, transition yeah. one to the next. Right. Um, but you know, you, you do, you get, it's, it's like that daily rhythm, that daily lifestyle of, of, you know, what that industry is. I, I'm curious. Cause you mentioned,